Okay, this is a piece of anthropological spoken word. And if you like it, you can find it in my collection, A Luminous Liminality. It's a collection of my poetry and art uh, of 10 years of work. So this is called It's All Relative. It's all about relations. No, I don't mean sexual intercourse. I mean how people build their foundations, how they relate to causation or build a nation or what they consider freedom and liberation. The tracks of humanity don't stop at just one station. The imagination is filled with endless destinations. Everyone has hopes and dreams, sorrows and frustrations, and everyone wants to experience the sensation of cessation of suffering and damnation. Options. We are a range of cultural options. Our choice is the result of a kind of cultural adoption. Humans are a wonder, to be sure. We explore, go on tour, only to identify what we consider pure and impure. We fight wars because we are insecure. But wait, there's so much more. For every detour we endure, we can also find the cure for our madness. For every act of hate, there's one of love pushing back against the sadness. The thoughts that people carry are a result of causes and conditions, a steady diet of enculturation, a kind of cultural brain nutrition of what's clean and dirty, right and wrong, how best to gather food or sing a song, how to unify a community to get along. Culture is about adapting and understanding where you belong. So much of it is arbitrary, but we claim tradition is important because it has gone on so long. But tradition is selection of past perceptions rooted in imagined past and cultural objections. There's nothing inevitable about the past we choose, the things we keep, the things we lose, or how we use and abuse one another. When we forget that all beings have once been our mothers and we yell and scream and blame one another for our problems. And so, relative, and it's relative. The way we know, our goals, dreams, aspirations, the places we go, flow below the assumptions, and you'll find a place to grow, but take it slow. Because if you think you know, you're wrong. Relativism is a practice, lifelong, and that beginner's mind keeps you from getting too headstrong. Don't assume right or wrong. Just be curious instead of furious. Cultural relativism, a poison, a disease? Oh, please, I got no interest to appease the keyboard warriors whose agenda is to throw feces, like our primate cousins. Relativism doesn't mean you allow ignorance to thrive. It means you contrive to understand what it means to be human and alive. The things we do to survive and strive for opens the doors to more possibilities. Because every culture is a library of wonder and they all have lessons and with wisdom bright with lightning and thunder. So shut up, listen, put down your hands. You don't have to like it, but you should try to understand.